Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech and welcome back to the channel. And today I'm gonna to be showing you guys a little cool trick to wirelessly mirror or create a second display for Linux. So let's get started. Now, a couple of weeks ago, I did a video on GNOME RDP and how great it was. Then I started jumping into this rabbit hole of research and I was trying to look for some sort of software that would do screen mirroring, much like VNC, uh, X2Go, TeamViewer, AnyDesk, stuff like that. I was just diving myself deep into it. And then I came across a realization on how to but create a second display wirelessly with any device that is either browser enabled or that could install the app like TeamViewer or something like that. So it's a very interesting approach. It's actually not that hard, which I accidentally came across. So a bunch of you guys may already know this, but yeah, it's very interesting. First, Linux in itself, when you do a screen mirroring like VNC, you're basically capturing the main monitor that you have. Now, if you want a second monitor, you can A, either purchase a second monitor plug it in and bam you have two monitors now if you want to use this like a second monitor the approach on linux would be a use a dummy plug so this is an hdmi dummy or something that will create a monitor giving you resolutions up to 4k now there's another way in linux not in windows but in windows this would work but in linux you can actually create something called the virtual screen which requires intel graphic card but we're not going to be jumping into that today i could actually leave a link down in the description on how to create a virtual dummy uh, screen but on wayland it's a little bit harder and it depends on the graphic card you have so instead of jumping into that we are going to be dealing with only the hdmi dummy plugs now you could get one of these or actually three of these in a pack for nine dollars on amazon which i'll leave a link down in the description below for so there are plenty of softwares that you can actually use this technique on so say vnc you could actually just tell vnc display the second screen and basically you have your second monitor now there are specific softwares that actually do this in linux called desk screen and wayless and i've tested them both which works really well because that is actually geared towards creating a secondary monitor on one of these devices using your linux so i'm going to show you guys how interesting it is so the first application we were talking about was is called desk screen uh, they actually do have a github as well as a website and you could just download either for windows mac os and basically what it does it's it creates a mirror of your screen but you can wirelessly display your second screen through a web browser so this is one of the applications the other one is called wayless and this one is pretty interesting as well i think this one works a little bit better and it's more updated because the last time it's been updated was a couple of days ago um, compared to the desk screen and it works similar way now both of these actually work for both x11 and wayland so if you are running either or of those uh, environments uh, it will work i did find other applications like i think x2 vnc or something like that and those require only x11 so i didn't even try to attempt to review those because most of my desktop now switched over to wayland so i need something that's wayland now on wayless you actually have the ability to uh, control the screen through your device so according to this uh, screenshot you can see over here he's actually drawing or writing on here which is also cloning into his screen so you can actually use it as uh, um, a secondary controller now in desk screen you're not allowed to control your desktop through the browser like how wayless does so i actually like wayless a little bit more than desk screen now it also has hardware acceleration for um, amd and also nvidia if you enable those so yeah Either way, you could um, play with each one of those softwares, but Desk Screen has support for older browsers, which I think is a little bit better for older devices if you're not able to get Wayless to work. So I'm gonna show you guys how it looks because the installation process is just about downloading the dev or downloading the app image, depending on what flavor of Linux you're using. When you're done downloading it, all you have to do is just run the application. So I'm gonna show you guys right now. All right, so here I have my dongles plugged into this laptop so technically i could get up to three monitors one two and then a sec uh, and a third one and what i'm going to be running is desk screen that's the first program i'm going to be trying to run and in here once you finish installing that's the screen you get all you have to do is just head over to your tablet device head over to the browser which has this address in here which is the 192 address then from there this will connect to the laptop and you see how that popped up. All you have to do is hit allow and you could tell it entire screen or application view. So entire screen, 
I have three monitors plugged in because I got two dongles. So I'm going to tell it to go to screen two, which maybe I should have said three because I think three is this one or two is this one. I don't know. Hit confirm. And there we have it. My secondary monitor is right here. So all I have to do is hit full screen. And basically I have my secondary monitor. I could go into Chrome and there's my second tab. This is on my tablet. If you really wanted to, you can actually just um, set up a secondary display or a third display using like another device like so. And then you could get another, like the third or fourth display using desk screen. So as of right now, uh, I just closed out of the application. This should actually cancel out. And if we were to try Wayless, I don't think it works with these older browsers. Um, but here's the other application for the Wayless, which is uh, you have to add your access code, your port number, and then you could actually enable VAAPI or NVEC for NVIDIA, start, and then that's your port that you need to connect to. So in this browser now, I could actually just click on that for the port. Well, I should go to it. It's going to ask me for the access code, which I made one, two, three, four. All right. So because, uh, let me see if I can rotate this. I have now both my displays working over here. I could just do one, two, three, four. Oops. I'm typing in the wrong device. One, two, three, four. Login. This will actually tell me what screen to share. So at this point, I could just click on one of these AOC 22s, share, and this should be able to pick it up. But because this is an older browser, this doesn't work with Wayless. So instead, I will actually be using this guy, which this works perfectly fine with. So I actually enabled this to be my secondary screen. Uh, I don't know where the screen is set up as. So what you could do is go to display settings. And you see, I have a like weird cascade version and you could kind of figure out that number two is down here. So if I was to click and move this around and click and move this over to somewhere else, fix up my screens a little, apply. And now this screen number two, that what it's telling me, keep changes. Yeah, I should be able to display stuff over there. And here you go. See, I'm sending the browser over. Now it's not as fast as you think it is. You can see I'm moving the browsers and stuff like that. It's all right. I mean, if you're going to play multimedia on this, it's not going to work properly because you are using wireless and wireless. You might get a little bit better performance if this was ethernet, but still all I really need to display is maybe a chat or discord or something on another screen. This will work perfectly fine. And that is it guys. I mean, it's super simple to set up. I, I don't know why I didn't think of this idea before using the dummy plugs as a monitor display. This will actually work on Windows or Macs where you just take a dummy plug, sec plug it in as a secondary display and use whatever remote desktop session thing you want to use like TeamViewer, any desk or anything and use it as a second screen either onto your mobile device or onto an old tablet. So I thought it was a pretty interesting approach, especially those two applications that I just showed you, which is Wayless and Desk Screen. Those are specifically made for this type of a setup where you have a dummy display. It was just a very interesting approach on now. If I wanted to, I could probably get three or four displays on my main PC or any Linux desktop. So ultimately I'm recycling some of my old tablets again, just for multiple displays. Anyway, if you guys like this, please hit that like button. If you guys have any questions about this, hit it down in the comments below. And if you guys are new to this channel, consider subscribing and also hit that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is going to be out. And as saying my nerd cave, hack till it hurts.